Hi guys, good morning. I cannot believe it's almost Christmas time. I just want to come in and do one last video. I think this will be my last video before the end of the year, possibly unless I get some other things in the mail. But I do have some cards I wanted to share with you guys. I have a little bit of happy mail, some things that were sent to me, and also I have some things that I ordered, some last stamps that um, just recently came in. So I wanna share those things. But first of all, let me share with you guys this card Yesterday, my sweet friend Tanya over at Memory Lane's Keepsake, I'll put the link to her channel in the description box below because she has wonderful projects, beautiful cards, um, wonderful haul videos, and I will put the link to her script, her um, channel in the description box. Um, and so she came by yesterday. She actually lives not too far from me. And she came by and she hand delivered a gift to me. So I was so excited to see her. We do chat back and forth quite a bit. And um, But she came by and look at this lovely card, guys. If you guys could see the shimmer on this card. And she said that she used a napkin technique to do this. And it, was, it wasn't just the Mod Podging. She did some other steps. There were some other steps that she took to get this look. It is so shimmery. This card is absolutely beautiful, Tanya. It was so nice seeing you the other yesterday and your girls. Um, her girls came by and they got to see my gingerbreads in my house. And um, it was just a nice little sweet visit. So look at this card, guys. It's so pretty. I just love it, Tanya. Thank you so much for this beautiful card. And she also, guys, she made this purse. Look at this. This is so darling. And it's pink and all these pastel colors with these cute little gingers on the front. This is adorable. And even look at the sides. The sides even have that mesh look on the sides. Like you would have like like on a tote bag or, you know, your craft bag has that little mesh pocket on the side. Look at that. Look how cute that is. That is absolutely adorable. And she has it adorned with these these bling um, jimmies here on the, on the sides, on the handles. And look at the little handles. It is so, so cute. So I'm going to be keeping this and using it every year to put some cute little things in. And inside, she gave me a couple of house mouse stamps. And this is a 1996 stamp. Look how cute this is, guys. And I, I've, I've actually looked at this stamp online and hadn't purchased, sat in my cart a couple times, actually. But now I don't have to purchase it because I was gifted this from Tanya. Thank you, Tanya, so, so much. And Tanya, guys, she loves house mouse. So if you go back on her channel, you can see some of her house mouse cards that she colored up and um, created. Okay, so she sent me that one. And then she also sent this one here. And this is so cute. I love this little stamp. This is so cute. I just love it. Look at him peeking out over the, the little mug. This is so cute. You can make this a, uh, you can put anything actually on this, on this mug. You can leave it blank or you can put Merry Christmas or Cup of Joy. You can use this for any occasion and just add some wording to the front. I just love these two stamps. So thank you, Tanya, so much. This is so, so cute. I love this little bag. And she even stamped in the inside. Can you guys see that? She even stamped her um, handmade um, signature in the in the inside. So I'm going to sit this here. So thank you, Tanya, so much. And then I have some other happy mail. And then I have a bunch of cards I want to share. So I got a um, package from Anna White. Hi, Anna. And her packaging, it came in this cute little, I actually lost the little, um, the little flower came off, but it was packaged in this little glassine bag, the card was. And it's got this little tag that says Noel. So sweet. And here is the card. Look at this beautiful card, guys. And guys, if you guys don't know Anna White, I'll put the link to her channel in the description box below as well. She does amazing, amazing cards. She's a designer for whippersnapper designs and also Impression Obsession. She creates dyes for, for that company. But her card is beautiful. Her coloring, she does beautiful coloring tutorials. Um, she does... Um, uh, like process videos and making her cards and uh, cute little haul videos where she shows all her, you know, her stamp collection and things like that. So beautiful, beautiful. Um, so inspirational. I just love her channel. Okay. She wrote me a little note in the inside. So thank you, Anna, so, so much for this card. And then she sent me one of her cute little snowman clips. 
And this is two leaves from Anna. Look how adorable this is. This is so cute. And I actually had this already hanging in my craft room, Anna. It was clipped on my um my lampshade like you had yours. And I had a little tag hanging from it. So cute. Look how adorable that is. Now, Anna did say that she had something else for me that was left out of the package that's sitting on her desk. So, Anna, that's totally fine. Happy mail is always welcome. So, look how cute that is. That's so adorable. So, thank you, Anna, for that. And then, but I, and I apologize, Anna, for this video coming up so late, showing what you said. And the same thing for Felicia. Felicia over at Bible Scraps. And, guys, if you have not seen Felicia's uh, gingerbread party video, it went up this morning. Or it might have been late last night. I saw it, actually, this morning. And I'm telling you... Felicia is the gingerbread queen. I think she has probably almost every gingerbread stamp that has ever been produced. It is, her collection is amazing. So if you guys want to see some gingerbread stamps, I'm going to use that video now as my catalog to find different stamps that I'm looking for. Because, you know, sometimes you don't know what stamps to look for. But go watch Felicia's video and I'm sure you're going to see a few, more than a few that you want to go and look for and hunt for in the secondhand market because most of her stamps are vintage. So, um, but anyway, um, she sent me some happy mail um, a little while back. Uh oh, I don't want to show her address there. A little while back. So she sent me this card and I love him. This stamp here, I would love to have him. And matter of fact, I think she's on her gingerbread party. She's doing a giveaway and she's going to be giving away one of these stamps. And he is called Fred. I don't know if that's the name of the stamp that's on the um, wooden block or if she just named him Fred, but look how cute he is. I love this stamp. I love this gingerbread stamp and look at her card guys. She has beautiful inking around, um, around her card. I love the way that looks. It looks so nice and toasty. I like that. And she's got this little tag hanging, cute little tag. And then she wrote me a little note here and then it's got a Christmas card, little stamp. I love this little stamp here. So cute. It says, in a hurry Christmas card. And you just check all those things. That's so adorable. And it says, have a homespun holiday. Absolutely. I love homespun. And she knows that. And then she sent me a couple other little things here. She sent me some Diana Markle, Markham panels. Some fall panels. And these are the fall recipes. There's the pumpkin, um, what is that? The pumpkin chevron pie. And there's the pumpkin cheesecake, the pudding bread, the bread pudding. And then here's this little clipping that says abundant harvest. I love this. And these are going to be nice to cut out and add to some type of project. So thank you so much, Felicia, for sharing those with me. And then she also sent me a couple of little die cut pieces. She sent me this little happy mail uh, mailbox. That's so cute. And here's a little um, tag that says happy fall, Elise. Um, what does that say? It says, Happy Fall, these blessings, um, Bible scraps. Okay. And then she sent me this little Bible die cut. So cute. So these things are going to go in my journal. So thank you so much, Felicia, for those items. Okay. And then let me show you some of the cards that I received in the mail. And um, this beautiful card right here, I received from my dear friend, Jill. We all know and love Jill. And Jill Norwood. Hi, Jill. And this card was designed by Tim, and who is her son, and he's much older now. When I um, first met Tim, I mean, met Jill, Tim was probably, I don't know, maybe uh, he was in elementary school, I'm sure. And um, he was really, really small, and he would make appearances in her videos. And she wrote me a really nice note explaining, you know, his um, process for like drawing this card and just wishing my family happy. Uh, Merry Christmas, but look how cute this card is. It's beautiful. He's going to be a wonderful artist just like his mom. So thank you so much, Jill, for this card. You guys go check out Jill's videos if you need some Christmas inspiration or card making inspiration. She's a beautiful card maker with a sweet, sweet, sweet big heart. So thank you so much, Jill, for that card there. I love it. It's beautiful, beautiful card. Okay, then I have a card here, and this one is from, this is adorable. This card is, I'm going to go a little fast because I have a nice little stack here. Uh, this is from Diane, my friend Diane. She's one of my, she's in one of my my swap group, my card swap group. <clears throat> and this is her card, and it's so beautiful. Look at this card. That's so pretty. She's got these little gnomes here. 
Now, I'm not big on gnomes, but this card is adorable. Absolutely adorable. And she colored it in so pretty. I love it. And then she sent, and Diane, I think, just recently took a Copic coloring class. She sent these two little, um, I'm definitely going to be using these. I'll probably use these sometime this weekend or um, next week because I'm going to still, I still need to make some more Christmas cards, guys. I was very proud of myself. I did get some cards out. I got some happy mail out. I got some thank yous out. So I'm so happy, but I still have a few more people that I owe cards to. So, um, but I'm going to be using these. These are so cute. And these, look at this card. So thank you, Diane, for that beautiful card. Okay, this card came all the way from Canada. And this is from my friend, um, Monica. Beautiful card. She's got these sparkly little sprigs here and it says cheer. So pretty. And she did some stamping. You can barely see it, but there's some stamping in the background on this card and also in the inside. So pretty. Thank you, Diane. And then this card right here, this is from Roxy. I love this Roxy. So pretty. It says Merry and Bright. Very cute. And she just cut out this, um, this rectangle. She cut out that little mousse there. So cute. And then there's the inside. It says Christmas Wishes. I love this. Love that. Really nice card, Roxy. Thank you. And then this card is from Linda. Linda Lapaka. Okay, let me move this out the way. Look how cute this is. This is so cute. And this is one of those fun interactive cards. And it says, um, wait a minute. Don, we now our ugly sweaters. And look at this, guys. Look, watch, watch, watch. I'm going to pull. And look how cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys see that? Look at that. So adorable. I love these interactive cards. So cute. I love it. Thank you so much, Linda, for this card. This is so fun. How cute is that? I love it. Thank you. Okay, and then this next card is from... This is from... Let me see. Just a second, guys. This is from Eile, my friend Eile. Hi, Eile. And Eile is a primitive queen. Oh, my goodness. She loved primitive and um, not just her card making, but her home as well. It's very, very primitive. Look at this. Look how cute this is. I love this little stove here. I love this. This is so cute. And by the way, I just recently got a vintage metal stove off of eBay. It is so darling. I've got it all decked out for Christmas. I have to show you guys a picture one day. Okay, so look, this is so cute. I love this. And then the inside, she's got a little note. It says, it's the wonderful time of year. And she's got a little note there for me. I love this little ginger. And then she added all these details to the little stove. This is so cute. I love this paper. These colors are very prim. I absolutely love it. So thank you so much, Eileen, for that card. And then I got a card from Iris. And Iris is a wonderful card maker. And she sent me a couple little goodies. She sent me, first of all, this little image here that I can color up and put in a card. I love this. Absolutely love that. So I'll be using that. And then she sent me a tag that she made. She said that she, when she made this back in 2015, she knew that she was saving one for me. So she gave it to me this year. So look at this. Look how adorable this is. So this card was made in 2015. See, it has it right there. And this is from, from Iris, 2015. Look how cute. That is absolutely adorable. I love, Iris, how you put the button and then she put that little peppermint in the middle. So cute. I love it. And look at this. Look at that die right there. That's so cute. And this says Christmas blessings. This is adorable. I absolutely love this. This is going to go in my kitchen somewhere. I just love this. So cute. So thank you so much, everyone, for all these beautiful, beautiful cards and for the happy mail. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so I have a couple stamps I want to share with you guys. Here's a stamp that's been on my wish list, and I finally got it at a really good price. And it says, Unto you, unto us a child is born. And I absolutely love this. And this is by um, Heidi uh, Saddleberg. Okay, and this is a, it says a child is born. And this is a uh, Stamps Happen. Okay. This is so adorable. I absolutely love this. I'm trying to build up my collection of uh, religious-based stamps, um, especially nativity scenes and different sentiments. 
So I just love this. This is beautiful. So, and I've seen other people with this stamp, but I finally got my hands on that stamp. And then I got this stamp here. This stamp is actually going to go to a, uh, someone. This is going out to someone. I wish it would have came earlier. I could have sent it out with the happy mail, but I'm going to go ahead and still send it out. Look how cute this is. All these vintage Santas. So cute. Adorable, adorable stamp. I love it. And this is a uh, PSX stamp and it's 19, 1996. So cute. I love that stamp there. Okay. And then this next stamp. Now these next two stamps I got um, to use for a particular person, my mom, because I write my mom letters quite a bit. She loves getting mail. She loves getting cards and letters. So I usually type out her letters because she, she loves the way that looks. And now she wants a typewriter, guys. Oh my goodness, I've created, I don't know. <laughs> she wants a typewriter. Um, but I um, I love writing my mom. And so I've got this stamp. Now Felicia of Viber Scraps, she showed this stamp, but it didn't have the writing on it, which I know she said that she had both. She has one with the writing on the feet, on the bottom of the soles of the shoes, and one without. So I have this one with, with the writing. It says, just sitting here thinking about you. And I love this stamp. So I'm going to be stamping this on all of my mom's letters and correspondence to my mom. So this stamp is going to stay on my desk so that I can always use this when I write my mom a letter or send her a card. I absolutely love this stamp. And this stamp is by uh, Love You To Bits, which is a company I don't think they're in business anymore. Um, but that's who this, this stamp is by. And I absolutely love this stamp. Look at those big shoes. Look how cute this is. So cute. Now, I don't know if, if Love You To Bits is part of dots. I mean, this kind of looks like a dot stamp a little bit almost. I'm not sure. But some of these older stamps, they all look the same. Um, like they come from the same company. And this is a Hampton Art stamp. And this one is 2015. And here it is. It says, I love you, a bushel and a peck. And the story behind this, the reason I found this, I'm so glad I found this because my mom, when we were younger, before we would go to bed, she would sing, sing us this song. Um, I love you, a bushel and a peck. And I sang this song to my kids when they were little as well. So now I'm going to stamp this. And every time I talk to my mom on the phone, before we hang up, you know, she'll say, I love you, a bushel and a peck. And I'll tell her, I love you too, a bushel and a peck, you know. And so um, this is very, very um, meaningful. This is a very meaningful stamp for me. So I'm going to be stamping this on every card and every letter that I send my mom along with this little girl, she'll get a kick out of this. And so, um, so I'm so happy to have this. So these two stamps here are going to stay on my desk. Okay. So I just want to come in one last time and share those things with you guys. And I also want to just say Merry Christmas, happy everything, whatever you celebrate, Merry everything, happy everything, whether it's Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, um, whatever other holidays you celebrate. Um, I hope you enjoy and get to see your family, get to hug the ones you love and just have a wonderful time and, and just enjoy all the blessings around you. And I hope that everyone has a better next year than we've had these last couple years, which I think this year was a little bit better than last year. But I'm hoping that 2022 is going to bring wonderful things. I know I have some wonderful things coming up in my life that I'm looking forward to. And um, I'm going to just from now on just make the best of every single moment, which I try to do anyway. But um, I'm going to just make the best of everything and just find positive and blessings just all around. So I hope the same for you guys. And you guys have a Merry Christmas and enjoy, 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 enjoy. All right. I'll talk with you guys later. Bye-bye.